Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Digium Live. My name is Brian Ferguson, and I'm the Product Marketing Manager for Switchbox here at Digium, and I'll be your host today. On today's episode, we're excited to have Adam Kramer, who's the Product Manager for all Switchbox products here at Digium, and he's going to be talking about an exciting new um, feature offering that we have with Switchbox. So welcome, Adam. Hi. All right, so Adam, um, I understand that late last year we just launched a new feature um, some, some, with some mobility features included, so why don't you tell us a little bit about what, uh, what got launched? Thanks, Brian. Yeah, uh, the team has been hard at work, and uh, we're really excited to uh, launch and announce the Switchbox soft phone for iPhone and uh, add that to the uh, Switchbox family of products. Um, you know, with, the, uh, with the new app, uh, users can take uh, advantage of uh, all the power of a, a desktop phone uh, with them on the road wherever they go. So uh, just like uh, uh, any phone, um, the soft phone registers your switch box as a true SIP device. So you can get everything you'd expect um, from that phone, from making and receiving extension calls, um, all the call controls to transfer, conference, record, um, and uh, you have access to company directories, you've got real-time uh, status updates for all your favorite contacts, and, and even the ability to uh, manage those, those statuses of, 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 your, of yourself while you're on the road. All right, great. Well, that sounds awesome. Um, so I mentioned, it, or I heard you say that it was called Switchbox Soft Phone for iPhone. Um, what makes a soft phone different from just a normal, what would be considered a mobile app? in the industry today. Sure, yeah. So um, as I mentioned, uh, the, the soft phone will register with your, your PBX as a SIP device. So um, it is, it is uh, truly a, a, a replacement or uh, the same functionality you would have in a desk phone. So it's really more than an app. As I mentioned, you, know, you have all those you know, unified communication functions that you would expect to have um, from a desk phone, but you've got it with you uh, on your iPhone. So um, you know, it's, it's something that, that allows you to really uh, appear uh, as if you're in the office um, and, and have all the, the presence information and uh, access to, to, to your organization to, to be able to make calls and interact in real time. Okay, great. So um, having used the app myself, I'm, I'm pretty excited. And one of the big features that was, seemed really impactful for me was the setup. I mean, it happened in seconds. So can you tell us a little bit about how the setup of Switchbox software for iPhone is different? Sure, yeah. Um, you know, we, we really tried hard to make sure that the user experience with the soft phone is, is really as easy as possible for our customers. So um, we actually implemented two different ways that you can set up the soft phone. Um, and, and both of them are, are really simple. So the first thing you're going to have to do um, is download the app from the App Store, which is free. Um, and then once you have the app, uh, your administrator would have to go in and set up a soft phone extension for you. Um, and once that extension is set up, they can either, um, the easiest way to do it would be uh, for your administrator to uh, initiate an email that goes out to you. So um, once you get that email, you open it up on your iPhone, um, you click a link, it takes you to a web page where you uh, input your, your username and password, and uh, as soon as you launch the app the next time, it'll be already configured for you. So um, basically as simple as uh, inputting your password one time, uh, we'll do all the configuration on, on the back end. Now, um, that's probably the easiest way, but the, the coolest way to do it uh, is using the QR code feature. So um, once you've been set up with a, a, a soft phone extension, the next time you log into your, your web portal um, uh, on, on Switchbox, you'll see a, a small little QR code in the uh, top right-hand corner showing you that you've got a soft phone available. Um, and when you click on that, it should uh, open up the QR code, and the first time you launch the app uh, before you've got it configured, um, uh, it opens up with the camera activated on your iPhone. You just point that camera at your, uh, at your monitor, and uh, it'll scan the QR code and do all the configuration, and literally it's, it's a matter of seconds um, to, to have all the configurations up running, and you're able to make and receive calls right from there. Yeah, definitely much easier than having to enter... Um, IP names and all kinds of information manually into the into a into a mobile device from before. So. Sure. Yeah. Well, it's 2015 now, so we're uh, we're trying to get past all that manual labor we used to do back in the day. That's right. That's right. So another um, exciting feature that I like personally is favorites. So it seems to give a lot of really great information. Can you talk a little bit about favorites? Yeah, um, you know, like like a lot of how the app is designed, we we tried our best to um, keep it familiar for an iPhone user. So, um, really, favorites is is 
acts just like your iPhone would uh, would use favorites, where it's you know it's those contacts that you're going to want to have quick and, and constant access to. Um, it also mirrors what your your Digium desk phone would use as as its uh, default phone book. So um, those are those are that's one set of, of favorites that is shared between the two devices. So wherever you go within Switchbox, um, you know those those contacts are gonna are gonna stay in sync so that you. You, you don't really have to manage your, your favorites on your soft phone any differently than you would uh, the rest of Switchbox. Um, but, you know, with your favorites, you, you can obviously see um, their phone state and their, and their status um, in real time uh, and also use a uh, one-touch dialing uh, to, to transfer calls to them or, or call them uh, directly. So um, it's just kind of a shortcut to, to be able to, um, you know, have access uh, uh, on the road to, to those that you talk to most. Yeah. Okay. Good. So I heard you mentioned contacts. So I know that you can access the contacts from your switch box. Are there any additional contacts that you have access to within the app? Yeah. So um, you know your your contacts is is basically uh, your global directory um, within Switchbox is automatically um, synced up and downloaded once you once you've registered your your phone. Um, so you can basically call anybody in your in your Switchbox uh, directory as well as um, there's a, a link out to your iPhone uh, contacts. So Within the soft phone, you can call anybody that's in your in your iPhone's uh, address book or or switch box for that matter. Oh, great. Good. Um, so the call control that's available in the app seems to be pretty robust. Can you talk about um, the call control and is, and is it possible that somebody could just use this as their primary phone? Yeah, actually, um, that that's absolutely uh, what our thought was when we created uh, this as a SIP phone. So, um, as we mentioned earlier, what sets it apart is it's it's a fully registered device uh, on your PBX. So, um, the idea was let's give them as much functionality as we can, so that if they're on the road and they need to use this as their only device, or you know, if you're in a, an office environment. Um, where, where you don't need a desk phone, this this certainly can do everything that you need it to do. So, um, you know, outside of you know the general uh, unified communication type uh, functionality and presence and 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 the ability to call and 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 transfer and conference to to different different parties, we tried to take it as far as we could. Um, so one of the cool things that got implemented uh, recently. Um, was our ability to set voicemail greetings based on your status. So um, that's a feature of Switchbox. Um, another feature of Switchbox is the ability to manage call rules. So uh, any user of Switchbox has access to um, go in and set call rules either you know, based on who's, who's the incoming call, the time of day, or your status, and, and direct those calls accordingly. So while those features are, are very powerful and, and beneficial within Switchbox on its own, when you add the, uh, the, the soft phone to the mix, now you've got the ability to set your status on the road and through using uh, you know, the simple toggle of a status to away or busy or, or um, do not disturb, uh, using the call rules and the voicemail greetings, you can say wh how that call is going to get handled and even uh, you know, what, what that caller is going to hear if they, if they reach your voicemail, depending on how your status uh, is set. So you know, while you're on the road, you've, you've got all the access to, to your contacts as well as the ability to manage um, you know, your, your greetings and, and call flows uh, from the road as well. Yeah, that's a, a huge feature that has been in, in Switchbox that we've all been excited about. It's great that it's mobile. I know one of the uh, people that have been excited to use something like this, we have a, lots of schools that use Switchbox, and some of the teachers have been saying we'd like to be able to change our status from anywhere. So now they can change their status while they're going to recess or while they're going to cafeteria or wherever, and then they can send all their calls directly to voicemail so their phone in, the, in their classroom doesn't get, get ranked. Right. So that's a really right. cool case. And, and able to, you know, see anybody else's status from, from within your contacts as well is, uh, is, a, is a powerful thing. And, you know, we've even taken it as far as we can from, uh, you know, call controls. When you, when you look at a contact um, and, and you see that they're on Do Not Disturb, we've got the ability to um, transfer a call directly into their voicemail uh, with a single button click. So, um, you know, again, trying to em emulate as best we can um, all the functionality you'd have in an office uh, on your iPhone. Right. Okay, great. So I've, I've all heard that there's already a new feature being added or that has been added to the, the soft phone. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. Yeah, um, we're we're excited to to roll out a new feature already. I mean, this this app launched uh, uh, not not more than a month ago, um, and uh, you know we we worked really hard to to build as much functionality as we discussed into making this a, a true SIP phone. 
um, um, on the iPhone. However, um, we knew all along that you know this is not something that that you know we we've got everything we can cram into it, and and we're going to keep developing on it as as much as we can. So um, one of the first things we looked at doing was um, adding the functionality to be able to make a a call over your cellular network instead of uh, over your data plan. So uh, accomplishes a couple things. Um, essentially, instead of making and receiving calls over over SIP, your phone will will um, initiate a, a request to the PBX that says, "Here's my here's my mobile phone number. Um, I want to call you know Brian." And the PBX will then call your mobile phone. Once you've picked up, then it'll call Brian and connect the two the two calls. So um, essentially, you're now make you're having this conversation on your iPhone using your minutes instead of your data. So um, you know, if, if data is valuable these days, uh, you know, phone companies are are charging us for data and not so much minutes now. So um, we think there's a great benefit there, as well as you know, just generally, if if you don't have a strong data connection, you know, you, your your call quality can suffer, or you might not even be able to make a call over data. So um, um, you know, with a simple toggle within our settings menu, we've had the ability to basically turn off your your SIP phone functionality and turn on cellular. So um, that that's how outgoing calls work. Inbound, um, again, going back to sort of the, the the powerful call control features that Switchbox has built in, um, you'll need to turn on uh, uh, your call routing so that calls coming into your extension are now getting routed down to your cell phone, your actual iPhone number. Um, so that inbound calls will also get handled by the iPhone. So um, you're you're then making and receiving all of your calls um, over cellular instead of using uh, the 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 data and the and the SIP functionality. However, that said, you you still have all of the other real time status information that you would have um, from a SIP device because it is still communicating with your PBX and, and able to pull um, you know your contacts and your call logs and your voicemails. So um, you know I think it's a it's a it's a happy medium. Um, you know I think there's definitely use cases for both, um, and customers will have the flexibility to turn it on and off in the fly. Great. Yeah, we're getting um, we're getting lots of word from customers, especially this last month, about cold weather and. Um, this app, being as fully featured as it is, really gives people the ability to completely work from home. They have the exact same connectivity that they had in the office. Their phone works exactly the same way, and they don't have to travel out in the snow, and they can still be productive and keep their company up and running with something as simple as this app. Right. Yeah. And you know, we 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 tried as best we could to to get this out as fast as we could to to help meet those needs. I mean, I think it's uh, you know we're a mobile workforce now, as you mentioned. You know, outside of just weather, there's a lot of people who choose not to um, come into an office every day or or have the flexibility if they if they don't come into the office to still be um, very productive on the road. And and you know, uh, again. With features coming down the line uh, quickly after this, um, you know we're we're looking to to build this to be a, a really really strong app and a great add to our our Switchbox family. And you know, with that said, right now it is a it is an iPhone app, but um, we're, our developers are already hard at work at, at building the uh, Android equivalent of this. So um, it's definitely something we've got a, a strong focus on moving forward. So good. So if I'm a Switchbox customer today, how do I how do I get the app? How do I get started? Um, sure. Yeah. So, um, as I mentioned earlier, you know, you, you go right to the Apple App Store, um, download the app. Um, you'll need to you'll need to contact your system administrator just to uh, set up a, a, a soft phone extension for you, um, and they will need to be on Switchbox version 5.10 um, or later. So. Uh, once they have that that uh, version of Switchbox, they'll have all the access to, to the various settings uh, on the administrative side to, to get a user set up and running. And again, you know, once once they once they've set up your extension and you've got the app installed, it's a matter of seconds to get up and running. All right, perfect. So very exciting stuff, Adam. Um, I guess just to close out, we are in 2015 now. We're all really excited about the new year and, and changes. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what to be excited about with Switchbox in 2015? Sure. Yeah. I, you know, I think uh, 2014 was a great year for us. Um, we were glad we, we got our, our soft phone out there uh, before before the close of, of 2014. But you know, as mentioned, 2015, um, you know, that Android app will be uh, quickly on its heels, and and uh, really, they've got a lot of other hard work that they that they put in uh, over the past year that um, we're, we're really excited to show everybody. Um, it's not quite uh, not quite ready, but um, it is it is quickly coming. And um, you know, I think it's going to be a, a very welcome uh, uh, advancement in, in the entire Switchbox uh, platform. 
And uh, with that, I think um, it's going to it's going to lead to even even more uh, functionality and innovation and, uh, and opportunities for customers to, to really take advantage of, of a very strong system. Good. Yeah, we're all really excited. I think 2015 definitely be a year of Switchbox for sure. So, um, so Adam, I definitely appreciate your time today. Thanks for taking a few minutes and telling us about the soft phone. Um, if you'd like more information about the soft phone, just go to digium.com, and we'll, there's plenty of information there. And again, like Adam said, if you want a current Switchbox customer and you want to get started, just contact your system administrator and go to the Apple Store and download the, the app. Again, Adam, appreciate your time. Uh, thank you for reading today, and we look forward to seeing you at the next uh, Digium Live.